Hello, Mansa. Good morning. Good morning, Swetha. So, are you ready for the interview now? Yes, Swetha. Okay, please carry on. Go ahead, please. Okay. Now I am going to the Oracle APM um, URL. Okay, Is share your screen. Uh, oops. My screen is visible for you, Sweta. Yes, yes, your screen is visible. You can go ahead. Please. This is the Oracle APM uh, URL. Um, um, now I am showing to the activity guide. This is the following steps we are going going through now. now after entering the Oracle APM uh, uh, URL, we have to enter our credentials. Here I am entering my credentials. Click on go. You will be open with this page of uh, creating an application. Here we have to click start. To enter into the application, we'll see the generals page. In the activity guide back to. The next page here we are entering the uh, generals page. We have here in the general page, we have to mention our name and description and with the application name. Here I'm giving the application name. And the description. After entering the name and the description of the application, we have to click on next. In next, it will go to the um, details page. Here we have to uh, back to the activity guide. I will once share you here. In activity guide, we have to mention the months, 12 months, and the year as a 20 to 29, uh, act, uh, fiscal year as a January, and main currency as USD, and Multi currency, we have to enable it. Here, uh, back to the application. Here, I am taking 12 months. Uh, here, uh, we have to uh, give the start and end year for the for our application. I am taking from two, uh, 2020 to 29, as mentioned in the activity get. Uh, the first month of fiscal year is default one. If you want to select another month also, we can. But I, uh, according to our activity guide, I am going with January. Here we are not uh, enabling the HYT mem HYTD members. Um, if you want to see the data within six months uh, in, our, in your application, we, if you want to enable it according to the client requirement, we have to, we have to enable the HYTD members. Here, the currency, uh, our default, we have USD. And according to the activity gate, we have give, you are giving the USD currency. This is the standard code uh, for all countries. We have the standard codes. Here I am enabling the multi currency. Um, if you want to enable um, uh, more than one currency in your application, then you have to enable the multi currency. Here I am enabling it and clicking next. Back to activity gate. Here we are we are done with uh, our uh, details page. After that, we are going to the futures page. We have to see here, we have to enable the consolidation. And uh, in balance sheet, we have to take traditional balance sheet approach. In general adjustments, we have to take work with S with workflow. Multi cap is uh, S with the manual adjustment. Intercompany data is S with the tracking. We have to give the uh, intercompany uh, entities aggregation as addition, CTA account as balance sheet. We have to include ratios. Uh, we have there is no we are not enabling the ownership management here right now and we have to give the one custom dimension as product we will enable this input uh, inputs like translator currency parent input and contribution input supplement data uh, has to be enabled back to the application here in the balance uh, balance sheet hierarchy we have to give the traditional approach here if uh, Traditional approach is nothing but we have get liabilities and equities uh, uh, assets as one uh, one member and liability and equity as another member here. So I'm taking it uh, as with workflow. 
as mentioned in the activity guide. Uh, here I'm taking my multi gap. Uh, we uh, as a back to PPT here a manual adjustments. If you enter, if you take this manual adjustment, we uh, have to enter the, the calculations. So we have to enter it. Um, it's with tracking. If you want the intercompany tracking uh, within the entities, we have to take inter intercompany and here addition. Whereas balance sheet, we here we are taking the ratios. Include uh, ratio calculations. We are also enabling it. Here, uh, if you add multi uh, multi currency, uh, one of the um, custom dimension is all uh, already filled with the multi currency. Only we have uh, um, rather than uh, multi currency, we have four custom dimensions. If you add multi currency, one of the dimension will be filled, and uh, we have only uh, three dimensions. I am uh, taking one dimension as product. Here, back to here, we have the in custom dimension. We take product. Here we are enabling the uh, currency inputs uh, in the um, application and we have to enable the supplement data to click next here. Here after entering the details so in the futures page we have to go next click on next and we have to uh, we are going to the review page right now. Back to the application. In review page, we will see the uh, whatever the in, in, um, whatever we are inputting in the um, application, we can review here. Um, if you want to make any changes, just go back and we have to uh, add it and we have to uh, click on next and the same process. And here we have to create the application. Click on it. Uh, after uh, see here in the review page after viewing the details uh, you have to click on create then the application creation process will be started it takes my uh, 10 to 15 minutes time to create an application okay Here in the application, after creating an application, it is uh, it will show the application will be created. We have to sign in again. We have to sign it, sign out one, sign in again, and uh, after that we will see the home page in the way uh, application home page will be displayed in this manner. This is the next we have to if you are enabling futures. Um, after the creating the application, I will show the how we will create. Uh, if you want to add anything in the application later on, after creating the application, we have to uh, uh, we can we can add, but we can't disable the features which we have already created in the application.
Okay, here the application creation is uh, successful. Click OK. Here we can see the home page. Um, back to activity guide. Here after uh, creating the application, we have to go to uh, to enable uh, some other features in your application. We have to go to application and configuration card under application. Here uh, back to application. Here is the application card. Under that we are going to the configurations. Uh, if you want to enable uh, other some other features in your application, here we have to go to enable features. Uh, in that enable features, we can only the uh, we can only select the features which we have not selected earlier, but not we can't uh, disable the features we have selected before. Here in that mm -hmm. here in the activity guide, uh, we have to enable ownership management, equity pickup, and partner elimination. Here now I'm going to enable the ownership management. Here this ownership management equity. Equity pickup. And the partner elimination. We are going to enable it now. So here we had uh, taken these uh, three options and we are enabled the futures. Uh, it also might take some few minutes uh, to enable the futures in our application. Then we have to sign out and we have to sign in the uh, sign in the application to, uh, to see the ena enabled feature in our application.
see the features are in a enable now. We have to log out and log in again. To see our features are enabled in our application or not. I'm signing out. And I'm signing in again. And now the feature, if you want to see the features are enabled or not, go to the uh, application and we can see in the configuration in enable features. We can see if the features are, uh, I mean, uh, here you can see if the future, the features are already enabled. This I didn't take another data here, so it is uh, clear to show and the other one is logged already here. This is how we, we will enable the futures. Uh, now back to activity guide. Uh, after login uh, into our uh, credentials. Here uh, we'll see uh, you can see uh, how many dimensions we have created in our application and uh, yeah, now we have to go to for that. We have to go to application and overview in our and we also see the dimensions which we have created in our application in the application. Click on application on home page. Uh, go to our overview. In this uh, click on dimensions. Uh, this is the dimensions which have created uh, in our application according uh, the, the the options which we have taken in the application based on that the dimensions will be created in our application. Back to activity again. Uh, here in actions menu we can see a few options uh, in the dimensions page. In actions menu. We can import the data in the dimension. We can export it. We can copy the data and clear. We have to. Uh, we can validate the data which we have in, uh, entered in the uh, application, and uh, we can you can refresh the database. If you want to remove the application, the entire application will be removed. If you click on the remove application, inbox and outbox explore. It is also nothing but uh, importing data and uh, data in the in the server. Um, Back to activity gate. Uh, after uh, after you click on the navigate icon, select user preferences under tools. Uh, show the options uh, below the following options. Okay. Uh, back to application here. Um, here in the navigator, click on uh, under tools. We have user preferences. Click on it. Uh, here we have the user preferences under options like a general display. It is nothing but profile, uh, our profile details and all approvals which we have uh, taken. Uh, which we have approval units which we have done in the application, and all display. This is also number formatting the pa uh, formatting uh, pages options. Uh, uh, with this is the for formatting the. Uh, the options uh, which we have to display in the application, the note, the notifications which we have uh, get through tasks or approvals or job consoles which we have get uh, that notification can see here. This is the ad hoc option, so you can see the uh, uh, ad, hoc, ad hoc options about the how we have uh, want to take the ad hoc uh, uh, um, page. Uh, we have the suppressed missing blocks or. This is only for uh, filters. Uh, here we have the user variables. Here we can in, in user variables we have we can add a user variable here. We can um, uh, input in the forms. This is the reports. Uh, reports of our application. We have the financial reports also here. This is a form printing. You can take printing on uh, forms. Um, back to activity gate. Here, uh, after uh, showing after showing the user preferences, we have to go to navigate and uh, click on services under application. 
come back to application navigator under app application we have to click on services this is the services which is provided in the application or uh, email note we will get email, email notifications or uh, how on what uh, which uh, which date we are running the um, notification and uh, date everything is mentioned here or uh, system may be the system is uh, maintained or everything task updates we can schedules everything we can monitor here in the services option back to activity guide go to home page and return back to home page here uh, click on navigator uh, select dimension under create and manage select account dimension uh, uh, preview predefined accounts in a balance sheet back to application i am going to navigator clicking on a dimension under create and manage here we are under uh, here in the balance sheet uh, we have some predefined uh, predefined for uh, members here the predefined members is nothing but the prefix coming under SCCS underscore is called predefined members. Under that, we have to go to predefined balance sheet. Uh, here I am already shown in the application. Go to home page icon, then select data. Under uh, SCCS uh, bal uh, uh, balance sheet, uh, select uh, balance sheet by period form. Okay, back to application. Click on navigator. Select data. It's uh, here the prefix uh, HCS under uh, balance sheet. Click on it. Here we have by balance sheet by period. We can select this. This is the form. Actually, we don't have any data here, but we can modify the form by selecting these uh, integrations uh, dimensions here. Back to activity again. Close the form. Uh, click on close to close the form. Then go to home page and select the rules. Back to home page application. Home page. We have to select the rules here under in home page. We, uh, we can see the business rules here, which we want to consolidate uh, from uh, here. We can launch the options. Back to activity get here launch the uh, launch icon uh, consolidation business rule. Review the appeal, then, then click on cancel. Back to application here. I'm clicking on consolidate launch go uh, button here we can take the integrations uh, and we have to launch it as we have not uh, entered any data so uh, according to the activity guide i am cancelling it in this way we can consolidate the business role back to activity guide here now click on home home icon and select value inter interaction under applications Name starting with the prefix FCCS on balance intersection page are predefined. Click on the any balance sheet to view the details. Here under navigation, under application, we are going through valley intersection. These are the predefined valley intersections. Uh, in by creating the application, automatically we can have the some of the default predefined. Uh, Valid intersection. These are the valid intersections. Uh, valid intersection is nothing but we can restrict the data. Restrict the data. Uh, this is uh, we, if you this is the valid intersection. How we are creating? We can add the rule, add dimension, and we have to save it. Uh, now, I, now as uh, as per the activity guide, I am just showing the options. I am clicking on cancel. Back to activity guide. Here, uh, in next, click on home home icon. Select manage period and under application cluster. Select scenario as actual year as a uh, 2020. 
uh, note in order to change the scenario and the year, select the dimension that changing the members. Then select, click on go icon, click on actions icon and end the end genre. Mm. Select open. Now, now the status of Jan will be open. Okay, back to the application. Click on navigator. Here under applications, we have to go to manage and period, manage periods. Here we can select the um, scenario as action. Here the year as a by 20. Here we have to open the uh, Jan uh, row. I just open. If once the row is open, we can't uh, unopen the row, but we can close the row. Here we can only see. Here we can only see uh, close uh, close option and open option. Here uh, in the below tab, we can see the um, we can if the uh, unopen uh, status cannot be uh, seen in the options. Once the option is opened, it just it is open. If you want to close, you can close, but we can't unopen the. Uh, Jan option as we have opened it. Back to activity guide. Um, now uh, we are going to uh, uh, custom navigation flow. How, um, click on home under tool, select navigation flow, create a copy. Here going to home page. Here tools under tools we have navigation flows. Click on it. This is the default one. Uh, now as now we are uh, using the application one. Uh, we have to go to settings and uh, click click on create copy. We have to enter the name. This is the navigation flow which we have created now. Remove the task, task dashboards and infolets by clicking on the remove icon and then click yes in the dialog box uh, that appear. Here we have to go to the uh, here we have to go to the navigation flow which we have created here uh, in the application. Um, as per the activity guide, we have to remove the task, uh, task dashboards and infolets. Here it is mentioned in the activity guide. Uh, task dashboard and infolets. I'm removing the options. We have to click S. Yes. Dashboards. Click on remove one and click S. Yes. And here in on the infolets also click on. Um, and click yes. Here the options are removed. Now we have to uh, we have to uh, save the options um, once it's done. And um, here uh, now we have to uh, give the assist to navigation flow. Uh, clicking on magnifying uh, button and uh, icon and uh, select a service administrator group uh, to. We have given the service administrator role to the navigation flow, which we have selected now, and we will click on uh, click save and close it. And uh, from inactive to we have to active the uh, active the navigation flow. Here, select inactive to make the navigation flow active. Come back here is the magnifying icon. Click on it, and we have to assign a role to the navigation flow. I am. Uh, as per the cadences, here I am giving the service administrator role. Click OK. 
and save it. Here we have to uh, click on inactive to active the uh, service administrator role in the custom uh, navigation flow. I'm clicking on it. It is active now. Here we have to log out from the application and we will log in back to see whether the uh, whether the uh, tasks and dashboards and implode cluster implode clusters are disappear in our application or uh, uh, or it is uh, stayed in the same application. We are back to the application. I am going to log out from the application. With the same URL, we can log in back. Here we can see the uh, info late set. Tasks and dashboards are not visible in our uh, application in the on the home page. Uh, these, in this way, we are we can create the navigation flow. Uh, this is the custom navigation flow which we have created earlier and we are using it now. This is the default navigation flow. We can switch from uh, custom navigation to default navigation now. Here uh, we can uh, click on it. Not this is the default application which we have earlier. Back to activity guide. Repeat the step. We have to uh, repeat the step and give the name navigation flow as custom navigation to remove tasks from the navigation flow and assign power user role. Back to the application here. Uh, uh, click on navigator under tools go to navigation flow we are here we are creating an another navigation flow click on settings create uh, click on create copy here Click on OK. I have um, created the uh, navigation flow. Click on the navigation flow name, name button. After clicking it, uh, we just removing. Sorry. We have to one second. Click on navigations. We have to. Uh, Inactivate. Click on navigation flow. We have to activate. Click on it. We can uh, now we are going to assign a sorry we have to log out from the application and we have to log in back as here we are giving another uh, role to the navigation flow Login back. This is the default application. Now we have go to navigation and I click on uh, navigation flow. Here uh, we have to uh, give an access to as a power user. Uh, here we have to remove Already we have removed the uh, cards. So here I am giving the uh, power user role to the navigation flow to.
here we can see the navigation flow has been created for the uh, custom navigation uh, to uh, this is the role we have assigned now back to a ppt here the the two uh, cons are in inactive state and the default one is in active state here uh, the both uh, our navigation flow are in active state and uh, we have shown the only uh, default one is in active state here uh, uh, here in the next uh, slide, next page uh, we are going to add a, a child member to the dimension we have to go to account dimension under create and navigator click on dimension under uh, create and uh, manage here in the uh, dimensions we have to go to account dimension expand balance sheet and expand total balance sheet approach expand total uh, asset and then expand uh, uh, total uh, current assets we have give a child we have to add a child to that go into navigation under create and manage click on dimensions here we have balance sheet under we have to uh, expand the hccs total balance sheet approach and we go we have to go to total assets this is the current assets this is the current assets here under current assets uh, current assets we have taken here we are adding a child member as investments uh, here back to application here under current assets uh, we are adding a child member this is adding for child member and this is for adding for sibling members clicking on uh, the adding child member here we are giving the investments uh, or uh, we are giving the name as in investment and alias also as a investments we are giving the name and uh, alias here and click on add child here under uh, investments account member and child account member as a investment then click on add a child i'm i'm saving it Here the child is added under the current assets member. Back to activity guide. Here give a name, investment, current assets, and data storages. Never share. We have already given uh, the. We have already given the child member to the um, in um, child member to, uh, to the current assets. Here for the next, we have to add uh, more to um, in, more to child members to under the investments. We are adding a child member here under investments under name of Fund alias as collective collective investment funds. Here we are taking a uh, data type as currency only. Here in the data storages, never share and click on save. Here we can we can add directly here. You can click on the investment and we have can add child or we can click on this child member and in a can add or we can also add a sibling member here. Here the next one. We are adding co corporate bonds.
corporate we are giving alias as corp corporate bonds and giving the data store as never share and click on save and here the two child members are added under the investments back to activity guide make sure your hierarchy looks like a screenshot here now the select select entity dimension and drop down select uh, total geography and add child to uh, under add child and give segments um, as name of the child and alias as segments and the base currency as usd and click on save back to application we are going to add a uh, child under entity click on entity here go to total uh, geography there is no child members here we are we have to select it and we have add it click on child here we are giving the name as segments under alias uh, we are giving the same name segments here the base base currency is uh, usd it is a default one so click on save segments option uh, is created the child is created as uh, segments here uh, similarly add a child under the segment dimension en01 base currency usd now uh, back to application under segments we are creating an another child en01 alias as en01 base currency is usd already save it back to activity guide here we have we are we are going to add two more uh, childs to the en01 en015 new york back to application we are clicking on add child en01 underscore 5 Here alias as en zero one score by New York. In base currency as USD. USD is a default one. We have to click yes, save. Here the child is added. We can uh, we can also add a sibling to it, or we can also add a click on EN zero one. We can add a child here, clicking on child child icon. EN zero one. We are adding another child member. Child member as Boston. Click on save. Here the two child member is added under EN zero one. This is uh, how to create the child I child member in entity. Go to next page. Here we have. Under dimension, select movement dimension and drop down. Search for HCS movements subtotal in the search box. Then click search down. Add child. Add child as uh, movements balance sheet here. Okay, back to application. I under under dimension click on movements. Here we have to search for. Moments underscore here we can sub moment sorry HCS moments underscore subtotal here back to PPT
subtotal search for it. Here we can see the moment subtotal. Uh, subtotal predefined member here. Under that we can we have to add a child. Click on child member. Name it as uh, moments uh, balance sheet. Means balance it here also. I am giving the same number. Click on save. And the child is added under the movement subtotal. Go to next page. Here we have currency uh, currencies adding currencies under dimension. Click on currency uh, USD. Select USD in input currency and I click on add currencies. Here going back to the application, we are good. under dimensions. We can take the currency option. We have to uh, expand the input currency and here we have the uh, USD currency. We have to add another currency. Click on add. We have to add a uh, Euro Euro uh, in the uh, currency EUR. Here it is. Click on it. And we have to click on save. Then the currency. We'll add under here in the same way. On in the same way, we have to add A to E, G B, G B P, and I N R. This is A U D. Click on it. Australian dollar. Click on save. Then the A U D currency is added under input currencies. Here click on it and we can add we can also add GBP. Here the United Kingdom pounder. Save it. The currency will be added under import currencies. We have to click on it. And I play, click on I place icon, and we have to select select another uh, currency. This is the Indian rupee INR. Click on it and save it. This is how we will add currencies uh, in our application. Input currencies. In the currencies we have added now. Back to activity case. Here uh, we have uh, we have going to uh, impo uh, input a data here. First of all, uh, before inputting, we are going to export some data. Here, uh, after logging to our credentials, go to home page under home page application. Um, and in application, we have to click on overview dimensions and uh, click on export. Uh, here, uh, we go into the application here on click on home page. Here, the application under application, click on overview. Here, we can see the uh, dimension option, click on it. And we are going to export the data which we have created in the application. Uh, here we have to click on the export button. Create. Click on create and the which the data which we want to export, we have to select it and we can export to our local machine. Here uh, we can click on create. 
we have the tar target as local. Here, uh, select account and entity dimension to export. I'm selecting account and entity dimension, taking as a comma delimited and exporting the file, metadata file, back to application, clicking on account and the entity, click on export. The file will be exported. This is the account and this is the entity one. And close it. Click on close. And back to activity again. Here uh, we have exported the data. Now we are going to make some changes in the data and we are going to import the data uh, back. Uh, this is how. Uh, this is the information regarding uh, um, making changes in our exported file, Excel file. Going back to the application, here I have already created the um, file. This is the account. We are going to click on click um, on top row, and we have we can uh, go to view menu. Under view, we can freeze the panel. Here we can freeze the top row. Already, I have click on it. View under view, we have click on freeze the top row and uh, scroll down. Here, uh, in the activity guide, we have mentioned that we have to take total account and account and total uh, uh, parent as account and default as total account. Now uh, these uh, val valid for consolidation as false, data storage as store, data type as currency, hierarchy type as dynamic, account type as revenue, time balance as balance, skip value for none, variant uh, reporting as uh, non expenses, uh, source plan type as console, plan type as true, aggregation as uh, less, data uh, storage console as never stay, never share. We are uh, now we are going to import the file in the account dimension. Here, here we have already uh, given the uh, following uh, guide uh, guidelines according to the activity guide. Here we take an account as uh, to uh, total account and here uh, parent as account uh, alias as total account. A valid uh, inter valid for uh, storage valid for consolidation as false data storage is store we have taken according to the uh, activity guidelines is here the same um, and we are going to import this file in the account dimension the, uh, here we have here we have already i have saved in the uh, say uh, file here uh, we are going to dimensions and import the data. Go to go back to the application here. We are going to import click on import button. And we have to create. Click on create option here from we are uh, taking it from local machine. Choose option. This is the import file which I have created. According to the activity gate. Open it. Take it as comma delimited as it is an Excel file. I'm validating it. Click on OK. And click on import. And refresh the database and it will import. If you check in the box. The metadata has import successfully here. Click on close. Close. Go to the activity guide and uh, following uh, guidelines is here. We are going, we are imported the data here in the account uh, dimension um, from the local machine. Here we have imported the day and refresh the database. Now we will go that uh, the whether the import file is successful or uh, it get any errors. We can see here 
uh, we, we have to go to job station and we have to go see the uh, whether the imported file is successful or not. Click on uh, back to the application here directly. We can go to jobs or go to navigator and the navigator. We can see here jobs under application. I'm directly going to the jobs uh, section. Here the import data is uh, completed. Here we can see the um, uh, we can see the da data is imported here. First, before we have uh, exported the data. Now we are imported the data. The data is successfully imported. We can uh, uh, go back to the activity guide. We can see that uh, uh, as imported file is successful. In the same way, we can we have uh, now we have to uh, go whether the account uh, we have created total accounts under account dimension. We can see it in uh, um, we can see whether the the account uh, which um, sorry uh, whether that uh, created one is added in in our account dimension or not. We are going back to the application. And here under uh, navigator, click on dimensions. Earlier we are created the total account member under uh, account dimension. This is we are created uh, now uh, under account dimensions. In the import file. Go back to the activity guide. We can see the total account which we have created now in the same way we have we can add uh, as entity uh, entity dimension also we can we have to uh, filter it and we have to import the that uh, import the data and here to click on okay we can see the statuses which the uh, which we have done uh, in our application we can see whether it is we have errors or it is completed in the job session in the recent activities uh, this is how will be the recent activities click on navigator click on uh, job under applications this is the recent activities which you have done in our application. Back to PPT. We also see the recent activities are completed. Mm. No, okay. This is how we have uh, basic or uh, basic things of uh, an application of um, and creating application and importing and data and exporting a data, adding child members in our dimensions. Uh, we also see some of the features of uh, business rules uh, and uh, data and manage periods. Mm. Mm. Excuse me, Sweta. Thank yeah. you. I am done my presentation. Yeah. Thank you so much. You have done the best. Thank you, Mansa. We will Thank stop you. and leave the meeting now.